I think I got it open, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right. In true uh, watt cycle fashion, this battery looks very clean. But there is the code for the BMS. If anybody knows anything about it, that'd be perfect. There over here is the Bluetooth module. You can see that it's lit up in blue. I can see that they are welded bus bars, which are nice. Four eight gauge wire on the positive, probably three six gauge wire for the negative, which is nice. And then there's also three, three six gauge going to the terminal on the top from the BMS. I can see the pressure valve for the cell right down there. So that's good that they have it opened up so it can actually do its job. Um, I see a temperature sensor right here and it is glued directly to the top of the battery right where it should be. And I'm guessing there's probably more temperature sensors. It looks like there's two cause there's a wiring probably for two right there. Look at this framework. I mean, it's got this beefy, but you can see the four prismatic cells right here. See that the uh, the bus bars in between the cells ha uh, has a raised up center right here. So it, it allows for expansion and contraction, which is great. But for my eyes, this thing is really well constructed. It has glue where it needs to be. It has the proper bus bars for expansion and contraction. The cabling on the batteries is well within specs of what it should be. And so I am very happy with the construction of this battery. 